this is Ray from SoyChinchar.com and welcome back to another episode of Ichi Me where we bring you the latest tech news that matter today in case you missed it. So Jackson has suggested that we put some background music and here you go. Okay, moving on. The Samsung Galaxy S10 launch is about a month away and now we have a better look of the devices thanks to a batch of leaked images by allaboutsamsung.de. From the leaked images, we can see the Samsung Galaxy S10 uses a curved glass on the front and the back which is very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S9. Besides that, the S10 and S10 Plus will feature a punch hole display but the S10 will only have a single selfie camera while the S10 Plus will have two cameras which result in a bigger cut hole display. At the back, both the devices will feature a triple camera setup which is placed horizontally and also retains the 3.5mm headphone jack. Are these images legit? We'll find out during the official launch on the 20th of February 2019. Hotlink is offering 88 gigs of free data for YouTube in conjunction with the Chinese New Year. Do take note that the free data will follow the validity of the plans offered by Hotlink Mo. For example, if you're eligible to purchase 3 days 5 gigs of data add-on for 7 ringgit, you can enjoy the extra 88 gigs of data for YouTube, but it is only available for 3 days. The free data will be available starting from today until the 20th of February 2019. Ever wanted to have your pictures featured on Apple's billboard? Here's your chance because Apple is calling for submissions worldwide for its shot on iPhone campaign. If you are interested, you can submit your pictures starting from today until the 7th of February 2019. To participate, you can post your pictures on Twitter, Instagram and also Weibo with the hashtag short on iPhone. You also must include your iPhone model on your picture. You can also submit your photo at shotoniphone at apple.com with the file format your first name, your last name and also your iPhone model. A massive landslide near Tatao in Sarawak has caused an extensive damage to TM's network. The damage is so severe that they have to replace 400 meters of cable. It has also affected several services such as Unify and Streamix in Cebu and also Tanjung Manis. TM has informed customers about the service interruption on Twitter yesterday at 11.30pm. And this morning, they have issued an update informing customers that they have restored the services within 3 hours. If you want to learn more of what I've said just now, the links are in the description. So we would like to hear from you. You can leave a comment down below too. Okay, that's all from me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that you be informed whenever we post a new video. So do check out our latest video here. And also last episode of Ichimi here. Okay, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Happy weekend. Hmm. <laughs>